What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have our Poke Mart video. Um, one of my favorite series to do, honestly. And uh, so, what we're going to be talking today? Uh, we're obviously going to be talking about Cosmic Eclipse. See how the secondary market is doing there. Hidden Fades. How's Charizard doing? He's going down a little bit again. Um, and but more importantly, it's Black Friday is coming up. Um, hope everyone in the U.S. Is, has a couple days off to relax and maybe do some shopping. And there are a couple good Pokemon deals out there, so we're gonna go over those to start. So we have a good amount of topics to hit today. Let's get started. To be honest, guys, I'm a little disappointed in what's available come Black Friday. Although you know what, Black Friday I feel like has changed so much in like the past few years. It's so weird. It's, they call it Black Friday. It's more like go shopping on Thursday for some reason instead of spending time with your family and then over the weekend buy a bunch of stuff online so <laughs> things have changed um, but there are a couple of deals I think you should be aware of the first thing we're gonna look at is that GameStop weekly ad and this one's a little underwhelming but there's a couple maybe just two things I want to hit the first one is this deal deal uh, essentially you get three GX boxes that are kind of like XY era things for $30 you know it it's not bad you know every once in a while the Costco has their three tins for 30 and I do pick those up sometimes I did a video not too long ago but I feel like that one one is a little bit better sometimes those tins have ultra prism stuff in there ultra prism packs which are pretty good the promos are not that old at least it's Sun and Moon era um, but I guess this thing is comparable to it so it's not bad but I would not call this a Black Friday level deal so ultimately there that's an option I do think it makes good stocking stuffers hey you know just toss that and um, you know if you're shopping for kids or something and they enjoy Pokemon I think that's a good option good way to pick up some uh, cheaper packs and then the other thing that they do have available is essentially oh boy there we go uh, buy one get one 50% all trading cards you know it's not bad basically that just means 25% off which isn't bad but I don't feel like it's that great um, so just something to be aware of if you're at a GameStop maybe make a couple purchases but I wouldn't get too excited I would not consider this Black Friday level uh, next thing we're gonna look at is TCG player um, so they say from starting Thanksgiving Black Friday although I wouldn't surprise you this quickly turns into also over the weekend Cyber Monday kind of thing they didn't even say what it is but just something to, to keep an eye out maybe just check come Thursday my guess is it's gonna be some kind of cash back kind of thing which you could argue is not even a sale um, it's something you get back later but uh, it's just something to be aware of it might be a good time to pick up some singles again like we're gonna hit cosmic eclipse in a little bit but the singles are super cheap uh, even if you're going for max rarity and then the one Black Friday deal that I actually am excited about that I'll look to pick up some stuff myself is targets and don't worry they have a huge I don't know huge ad but there's only one thing we're looking at that is this hidden fates tins ten dollars um you know you can still find on certain sites they're going for almost msrp for like 30 40 dollars absolutely ridiculous ten dollars 50 percent off um i'm gonna i i couldn't figure out what time check what time your local target opens on thursday or friday or whatever and hey i think this thing is actually worth going out Heck, maybe even going to a couple stores if you can't find them right away. Um, pick them up. Uh, I think these things will be popular for quite a while. I think in a year from now, we're still talking about Hidden Fates. I would be not shocked. Um, wouldn't even be the biggest surprise we're talking about is two years from now. This set is just so good. So to pick it up at 50% off, that's a deal. That's what I'm going to be doing if any kind of Pokemon shopping come this weekend. All right, so now let's get into the market video uh let's start with cosmic eclipse we're going to tcg player again check out their thing thursday friday maybe it is something good we'll see and cosmic eclipse how is this set holding up uh charizard breaks and still on top but still coming down i think last time we looked uh, like a week ago it was like 60 um and now it's looking around 50 five and cape and cynthia this one's not that surprising i feel like this one's actually appropriate this one still feels a little inflated at least in the competitive side i feel like it's kind of rare you face charizard breaks in caitlin cynthia i think this card is really good um part of me almost is wondering like hey will this go up but definitely not worth to buy to speculate of it going up uh, Mal and Lana is still like the biggest surprise to me when i first read it. it's like that sounds not that good but um 
with Nuzgas and like uh, basically I think um Malamar Guardian Gardevoir Mal uh, Espeon uh, this card is actually super good so both of these I think the higher price point is warranted ADP is still super strong so ADP uh, coming up following up at that 28 and then from there Reshiram you know Reshiram's a little disappointing but I think it's uh, some potential and then from there we basically have a bunch of stuff in the a couple a few things in the 20s Rosa and uh, another Reshiram but then this is where my eyes or have been you know if there's a great deal uh come black friday come there's come thanksgiving uh, maybe we'll pick up even more we picked up like i don't know 20 secret rares all for each one under 20 bucks that's crazy uh just so we can swag out our decks for irl great catcher under 20 dollars that i feel like is pretty good great catcher is going to be i think a thing until it rotates out the only thing that's uh questionable is um whether or not like it doesn't of say for v pokemon so maybe its lifespan will be limited depending on how things shape out come february but then we got power plant tag call and giant hearth all really good cards uh red and blue very good all under twenty dollars um again these are these are if you want to go max rarity um but you know when it comes to like opening packs like you could just pick up the max rarity stuff for so cheap um i struggle to open pack, uh, cosmic clips anymore ends resolve and then everything else goes down from there let's take a look at the top dog charizard breaks in if you want to pick it up on ebay right now yeah hundred dollars that's ridiculous and uh, actually yeah i feel like people that did pull it and are trying to sell it on ebay it's still holding out like no this card's worth more it was at 100 not too long ago you don't see that many in the but we do have a 50 we have a 50 that's not bad oh wait no that's japanese and then a 55 though let's look at sold listings do a quick refresh and yeah low 50s so it seems to be in line this guy is on the decline i expect him to go further down because this is i think this is just the charizard effect the rainbow charizard effect it'll hold out for a while but then go down oh my gosh this one sold for 22 that's a good deal <laughs> i would definitely pick that up if i saw that let's move on to hidden fates so very quickly i feel like uh you know cosmic clip just continue to trickle down and well let's go back to hidden fates that's actually more exciting charizard as low as 210 um i was i'm going to maintain my guess that 200 is going to be kind of like world settle um it's getting closer there faster than i was expecting though so maybe it'll go even further uh we'll actually take a look at that just to see how many there are so yeah you got some two tens in there then quickly goes back to 220 and then quickly up to 250 so there are a total of currently at this second four for under 250 on tcg player and then it's big or yeah under 250 um from there let's just take a quick look cynthia's still holding up at 45 the cards just good um the full art looks amazing you got lucario and garchomp in there and then lele Gold Lele, basically everything else is kind of like mid to high 20s, everything you would expect. You got your e e evolutions, your Lele, um, but then at some point it drops off where then you just got your golds and stuff like that under at around 20 or under. Uh, let's go to eBay. What's Charizard looking right this second? And not surprising, we got a couple at 250. That seems to be where listings will just sit and every once in a while you have a 220 i think these these are kind of like where that line threshold between like all right these things probably might not last that long anything lower than that will probably get gobbled up real quick let's go look for sold listings and that seems to be the case that 245 seems kind of high that was a bid um maybe it has perfect centering or something uh two under 220 though that seems about right i'm not sure what that is 230 all right, yeah, so maybe hovering around that 220, 230 mark seems to be the going rate for Shining Charizard. Continue to go down, uh, my guess is 200. And then last time, what we have here, sold listings for Cynthia. Cynthia maintaining about that $40. Man, every once in a while though, maybe Cynthia is something we should just keep an eye out for for these good deals at like 25. I think that's a steal. Uh, but yeah, other than that, kind of like 40, every once in a while, 40 up, up to like 50. Uh, 26 so that's pretty good um so that's gonna be it pretty quick episode tonight or uh, this week um yeah black friday let me know if there's anything else that you're aware of that you know you want to share with the community and uh yeah i think that target deal is the only one that's worth going after and uh so that's probably what i'll be doing um not sure what time it opens out to double check 
uh, on Thursday. So hope everyone has a good holiday if you're in the U.S. or if not, hope you have a good weekend. Um, we'll be back next week with more Pokemart. I'm Moana Turtle, and we'll catch you guys next time.